Titans ended with season 4. But showrunner Greg Walker has more idea as Titans was the scrappy DC superhero show that could, from the negative response to its first trailer, in which Dick Grayson, Brenton Thwaites, then still operating as Batman's sidekick Robin, explained his split from the Dark Knight by uttering the infamous FK Batman line, to the dissolution of its initial home, streaming service DC Universe, and a relocation to HBO Max, itself soon to be renamed Max, Titans weathered the punches. Even within the fictional reality of the show, the team of young superheroes held up against opposition that included interdimensional demon Trigon, vengeance-obsessed hitman Slade Wilson, Esai Morales, and the deadly duo of Mae Bennett, Franca Patenti, and her son, Sebastian Sanger, Joseph Morgan, aka Brother Blood, after four seasons, the series concluded its run this week. But there's still more story to tell, the ending was surprisingly hopeful and, as showrunner Greg Walker told Rotten Tomatoes in an interview conducted before the Writers Guild of America strike began, was a glimpse into some ideas he and his writing team had about a potential subsequent season. The funny thing about Titans is there's all these shows embedded into the show. You could take any of our main cast, the core four and beyond, and make a very exciting TV series around them, he said. In the series finale, most of the team choose new directions. Empath Rachel, Tegan Croft, decided to attend college in Bloodhaven. Shapeshifter Gar, Ryan Potter, elected to travel, the Red, the ephemeral realm of animal consciousness. Superboy Connor Kent, Joshua Orpin, elected to spend some time with Superman. And the show's latest Robin, Tim Drake, J. Lycurgo, chose to split his time between Metropolis, where his boyfriend Bernard, James Scully, lives, and Gotham City, where he will continue to train as Robin. Dick and fire-powered Tamaranian princess, Cory Anders, Maimana Diop, finally acknowledged their mutual attraction and returned together to San Francisco. The group also got one last adventure when they defeated Blood Brother. This proves that, even though they may need some time apart, the Titans will always be stronger together. We wrote ourselves into a corner intentionally, Walker explained. How do you bring back the various Titans from where they are in their lives? What kind of momentous event would do that? We just started talking about that when our fate was revealed. The decision to cancel the series came just after the writers and Walker were spitballing ideas for what they'd expected to be a fifth season. These stories included reincarnating Jinx, Lisa Ambalavanner, an ally in season 4 who died during a battle with May and introducing Tara, a character from the comics. There was even talk of doing a season centered on Dick and Corey. Other ideas Walker shared with Rotten Tomatoes included Gar spending a long time exploring the Red, but not, Walker said, to the exclusion of his Titans family. And he said that Tim would have carried on as the show's Robin both because of the emerging universe spinning out from 2022 feature film The Batman and a desire to double down on what new Teen Titans comic book creators Marv Wolfman and George had already established. They were even pitching a Red Hood spin-off with a mostly reformed Jason Todd, Curran Walters. Dick's successor as Robin who went off the deep end in Titans' third season dot a glimpse of that Red Hood show could be spied in Titans' penultimate episode, which saw Lycurgo's Tim finally don the Robin costume, a suit heavily inspired by his comic book counterpart's first major costume, while training with his immediate predecessor. Lycurgo told Rotten Tomatoes that his Robin was different from the previous ones because, Tim, has always come from a place of honesty and purity.